a wee viewer. And a little wee viewer. And we're going to review Epic Mickey for the week. So let's talk about the overall game itself. What did you think of it? It was okay. I would have to agree with you. It was just okay. I know it's probably going to get a bunch of people going, You can't be saying that Epic Mickey's only okay. It's the greatest Wii game ever. It's epic. Yeah, that's right. It's epic. Well, what are you thinking? Did you have the same feeling as me that the game was just a little too depressing? And it made no sense at all. Well, no, no, no. It made sense. The game is all about Mickey screwing up this magical world of forgotten characters and having to put it back to normal. I thought Mickey was epic. Enough about the epic. But epic Mickeys are epic. All the worlds that you had to go to were black and gray and really depressing. Okay, you and I have played the Kingdom Hearts series. And you know that's kind of an adult-themed game in a Disney world. Well, why couldn't they have done that sort of thing with this game? Even though it was kind of depressing looking, the graphics still look great. Well, if it's depressing looking, it doesn't mean it's going to be the most horrible graphics in the world. Also, when it's depressing looking, I think the colors are really easy to make. Now, I'm sure everyone's going to be saying, oh my god, he hates this game. No, no, I, do, I really don't. I got kind of annoyed that the game really didn't feel like a Disney-type game. And I think they kind of wasted the Mickey license. I would agree with you. I mean, even the cutscenes, there was no voiceovers. I mean, that's ridiculous. This is 2011. There is absolutely no reason in the world not to have voiceovers. This is also a Disney game, so they expect you to have voiceovers for these characters. But there wasn't any. I did not like that at all. Let's talk about the mission objectives. I really did like the kind of open mission objectives they give you. There were often multiple mission objectives that you could do. I really did like the fact that these mission objectives often had two ways of doing it. So either you could take the easy easy route or the hard route and the good route and the bad route same thing well i mean you got to have like some missions you have to depend on like for example in the beginning there's a character in a treasure chest. They tell you which one to choose. Right, it's a moral choice. All the choices you make in the game actually matter because there are multiple endings to this game, which means replayability is very high. I chose the treasure chest. You're so evil sometimes. <laughs> Now, the whole gimmick of this game was that you could shoot paint out of a magic paintbrush to redraw the world. In some places, the worlds became unpainted, and you had to repaint them. What would you think of that gimmick? One, that sounds manly, and two, you can repaint it and unpaint it depending on the puzzle that you have to do. It was creative, I guess. I do agree with you. But I think this is another instance where it would have been better to play the whole game in like a colorful world. What do you mean? I think if the game didn't look so depressing, the paint gimmick would have been more fun. The enemies in the game were fun to play against. Like the missions itself, a lot of the enemies could be defeated in two different ways. Either you could use paint thinner to rub them out of existence, or splash them with a bunch of paint and they'll be your friend and help you out against the other enemies. I did like that aspect of the game, since it kind of changed up the way you battle the bad guys. Since the enemies were never that hard to beat, it kept the monotony of the fighting to a lesser extent. However, the worst enemy in the game is the camera. It's truly awful. There were plenty of times where you would just die because of bad camera angles. You can't control the camera, but it shouldn't have been as hard as it was to get a good camera angle to play. I enjoyed the game overall. It had quite a few fun moments, and there were quite a few clever puzzles to solve. And if you could tolerate the camera, there was some great gameplay to enjoy. Plus, I really liked the extras they had hidden all around the worlds, if you got creative enough to find them all. All right, Epic Mickey for the Wii, little Wii viewer. Would you buy, rent, or skip? I just say rent. This one I'm really torn on. I don't really think it's worth a buy, but I think it's better than a rent. So this is one of those times where I can't pigeonhole it into a buy or rent category. So should I call this a rent or a rye? No, I can't do that. I gotta pick one, buy or rent. I'd say there is just enough content to worthy a buy, but I would wait until it comes down in price to about 20 or $30.